judge a woman based on appearance um, for me personally I just reckon that you should be judged based on appearance because you you dress you choose to dress how you dress right so if you've chosen that and I choose to interpret it interpret it that in a certain way then whose fault is that is it not your interpretation mm, to an extent it is but I feel like Females are also aware of the fact that there are certain stereotypes that are attached with the way females dress in certain environments. So if a woman goes out of her way to do that, if she's aware, then it can't totally be based on interpretation because all those stereotypes aren't always accurate. Mm. There's periods when stereotypes are to an extent true. And that's where a lot of guys get their interpretation from because guys do speak to each other and they get certain ideologies and the media also imp um also goes and adds on top of that and enforces certain stereotypes around that so although i can say guys take a bit of the blame i think females are also aware and kind of at times know what they're doing um that may be the case but what's what's the problem with that it, when you dress anything you do whether it's jewelry whether it's hair whether it's clothes it's self-expression and people may want to judge what you're wearing as that's your character but it's also your mood it's also what you're wearing like i have bunches today but I mean I want to have bunches tomorrow I want to have like a big I want to might have a, like a curly afro tomorrow that's not that doesn't change me who I am that's just how I'm feeling at that time and it's the same like I guess you could say the same like if guys go out they wear hoodies does that mean that they're all gonna rob you no they just feel like it's cold they want to put their hood up keep their head warm that's just how they feel but you'd be upset if you got judged because of that so it's, it's about the other person's interpretation as well as what society has told us and that person wearing that thing but I wouldn't be upset if I, for instance, walk in, walked into a shop and they asked me to re remove my hood. That wouldn't upset me because I know it's not the settings to be wearing a hood indoors. It may not upset you, but it may upset somebody else. That why? Because that person may be like, why am I taking my hood? My head's cold. I'm not taking my hood. Or my, hair, or my hair's look rubbish underneath. I don't want to take off my hood right now. It may offend. It's everyone's their own individual. Everyone's their own person. I think I, I, I agree with that to an extent, but I feel like people take the argument of people being individualistic a bit too far and at times people forget that we live in a community and with that being said we have to remember that there's certain things that just transmit across everything and we know certain things like you can't wear your hoodie in a store and if that's the rules and we know most stores that have that in place then why wear a hoodie do you understand what i'm saying it's like if like you said um earlier on um about about shoes as an example if you know you're not like for guys if you know you're going you're going to a club in mayfair and it says you have to wear shoes and you wear trainers you should expect a certain reaction and i think that applies to what females wear a lot and that's just the way it is in society i can't say it's it's something that that um that females shouldn't um speak out about mm -hmm. but it's just kind of how it is so if females wear certain things knowing that there's a there's the likelihood of a certain reaction they should take that into into account for wearing it and to kind of think more on that level see personally like from experience alone if i go to a club setting and a woman's wearing something revealing then she won't get spoken to in my opinion and that's just based on my 25 years of life so if one woman comes along and says no that doesn't mean you want to get spoken to like okay it, it doesn't though because if I decide to go out and I say, okay, I've just come back from a holiday, I have my tan, I want to show it off, I'm going to wear short shorts, that doesn't mean I want Barry to come and talk to me. It doesn't stay, mean at, that. stay at it home and that. wear short shorts. Why? Yeah, if I want to go out, it's someone's birthday, I'm going out. It doesn't mean what I wear doesn't dictate I want to be talk to someone to talk to me. I want to go out, I want to enjoy time with my friends. I don't have, I don't go out with the intention to get chatted up. Right. So then if people that. approach you, what would your reaction be? I wouldn't have a necessarily negative reaction. I would just say, so I'm not interested. I'm not one of, I'm not going to be rude about it, but mm. if I'm not interested, I'm not interested in how I'm dressed, whether I'm dressed to the nines or I go to um, a very casual event, I don't expect a man to come talk to me because of how I'm dressed. What else would they talk to you? About? Like, okay, there's, there's, yeah, there's, how, there's, 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 there's three things. But how I'm dressed shouldn't, how I'm dressed shouldn't then say I'm available. How I'm dressed is how I'm dressed. I dressed for a reason like this because it was my mood. 
But there's three, there's three things that a man will probably talk to someone about. One, what you say, which is highly doubtful, doubtful being in a club setting. Two, how your face or body looks. Or three, how you're, dre- how you're dressed. Those are the three things that people look at. So why wouldn't someone not approach you based on how you're dressed? I don't think she's saying not about being approached, but not necessarily meaning... Obviously, we're talking about if someone wears too many... If someone wears revealing clothing. I know I've been to a rave once and a guy was talking to me. When he found I had a boyfriend, he was like, so why are you dressed out like that then? Exactly. So I said, what do you mean? With him. You don't even know what I was wearing. So for you to say that, <laughs> I think that's very interesting. For you to say that, considering you didn't know what but I was again, wearing. But again, doesn't it come back to the idea of... of, of like, the, there's a general idea of what is acceptable and um, um, just what isn't. So with, even though he hasn't seen what you were wearing, there's still, like, an idea of... What but where the idea wearing. come from? Society. I think, it's, I think it's, it's one of those things like we all, it's one of the, it's like a rule that we make but nobody ever speaks about and I think it applies in so many different societies and so many different contexts with so many different things. Do you understand? It's like, okay, we won't come out and speak and say, okay, these are the rules but as we, as we start to grow and start to understand how life works, we start to make up those rules and we start to but agree I think on we certain be, consensus. I think we should be judged a lot less on how we dress, especially women. I, agree. I find women face a lot more pressures on in terms of how they look than men. And I find that if you don't wear makeup or if you do wear makeup, people look at you different. And I don't think you should be looked at different whether you're dressed up or whether you're dressed very casually. But people will assume things about your personality from how you're dressed. And I think that's completely wrong. It's the same way that when a guy puts a suit on, right? People look at you like, feel like you're of a certain stature because you're wearing a suit. Where in theory, a suit is a hundred pounds. Trainers are a hundred pounds. Same price differences. So why does that happen? Yeah, but I feel, go on, go on. Sorry, go on. No, I just thought it was. In, sorry, I'm going back to something that you said before when you when um, Davina said that you know if she wants to wear short shorts to her tan, you was like wear it in your house. Why would shops even bother to sell going out shorts to wear in your house? It doesn't make any sense. It's to wear out. If you've got long legs, they're good looking, you want to show them off. Same like if you've got a fresh haircut, you want to show it off. So you may not wear a hat that day or you've been to the gym, you've been pumping iron, you want to wear a t-shirt. That's just what you want to do because you want to show off. So I don't see why it's a problem if a woman has a flat stomach and she wants to have her stomach out or she has good legs and she wants to get her legs out. It's not saying she wants to sleep with you. She's just saying, I appreciate my legs. I think everyone else should appreciate it too. I'm going to show them. And Appre- I- everyone should appreciate it. I what? So. Yeah, if you've got nice, if you've got nice features. So if you want you- everyone to appreciate it, you basically want everyone to pay attention, then you must deal with the consequences that comes with that attention. But are yeah, the but right why, consequences? Why does it have so and right attention? Why ha- because why I think, like, I, what's the right attention? To get attention? I, think, I think there's too much, like, pressure on females having to accept sexual advances from men because of the way they look. And I think that is perhaps a lot of the reason why a yeah, debate like this even exists. Like, because I, I, I think about it now and it's like, if I've got a female friend and she wants to wear shorts because she plays sports and she's got really nice legs, she should be allowed to without thinking about the fact that guys will have sexual advances and guys will behave a certain way which she's forced to kind of take in and then pretend like it hasn't happened. Well, I'm on the, I'm on the opposite side. I, I have female friends and when I, obviously I go out and if they come out with me and I go to get them and I see them wearing a particular sack and I know they're way inclined where they don't want to be approached, I'll say, go change that because you know what you're like. You know you but don't like that- guys... Aff- like, but isn't that the problem then? They should have a f- the freedom to wear what they like. They must all wear pajamas. No, but I think that that's not the issue. But they're still they... short, short pajamas. They're still yeah. dressed up pajamas. Let's wear onesies. Let's still... still wear onesies. But see, that would be a good argument if it wasn't for the fact that it's it's from a male perspective that are dictating the rules that make it most comfortable for men, not for females as well. Because I don't feel like fem- if females had the freedom, they would wear whatever they want, whenever they wanted and had the chance to not wear makeup on certain days. But because society, which is influenced a lot by what males think, they now have to wake up and think, okay, I have to wear makeup, I have to do this, I have to do that. Because it's what the society says is comfortable, but it's a male-led society. Okay, don't blame me for, for being peer pressured. But then you think we will have a role to play in, in trying to reverse that? Especially if you're like, uh, an influencer, and if you're an influencer of ideology okay. and thought, then you think you also have a role to play Thank you in terms much. of saying what is acceptable and what isn't. Yes. Wait, so we're, we're, we're going around. This whole debate is about judging and deeming like, acceptability based on our opinions. So now we must say that 
we must change our opinions to then decide what's acceptable. Well, Not it's just the same so I'm just, just, to, just to say, nothing will ever change if we don't change. We're the next generation and we're going to be in charge of the next generation coming up. So if we keep the same ideologies that, you know, women should be like this, women should be like that, and we pass it on to our children, it will just continue. Whereas we, if we're going to change and make it slightly different, then we teach our children something different. And I think it's something that men and women have to play the part. Because as much as a woman can come out and be like, yeah, we don't like X, Y, and Z... It, women it's, as well. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not like it's a it's a male or female thing, like it's not necessarily that, but it's about how do we how do all of us play a role in getting rid of certain ideologies that perhaps mm-hmm. are a bit outdated. And I think one of them is predominantly trying to judge a woman based on her appearance. I'm I'm not too sure of it because everyone's judging appearance. Anywhere you go, it happens. It's not just women, it's not just men, it's not kids, adults, kids are ju- Kids, that, parents are judged in their parents of their children. No doubt, like, no doubt. So is there, a, is there a certain type of girl that... What type of dress of girl do you tend to go for then? Do you stick yeah. with the same or is there some nights you feel like you want a certain type and other nights I you like I ain't got want... no type. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you're not picky at all, you're just whatever. I just, I just, no, I just like... It's not I'm not picky, I'm very picky. I deal with the highest caliber of ladies. I just like what I like. Right, okay, cool. But then, as a guy, would you think it's okay for your woman to dress in a certain type of way? Like, what would you say is acceptable and what isn't? And would you have, would you air your opinions around that if your girl was dressed in a certain way that you did? I would would most definitely air my opinions because any woman I'm involved in is a representation of me. Okay. Right. Let's end on that one. I think women are judged way too highly and way too harshly on appearance. I think that we should be given a lot more freedom because a lot of us, we dress according to our mood. And we might just be wearing something that some people would deem being revealing that we don't feel is revealing. So I think we should be given a lot more lenience in terms of how we look and how we're kind of judged on how we look because how I dress doesn't determine my character, my personality or anything about me apart from the fact that I'm wearing shorts today. So with regards to female appearances and being judged, I think it's now got to the stage where we, both men and women, need to play their role in ensuring that we don't have preconceptions of females based on their appearances. I think those are practices that have evolved over time from practices led um, by male opinion and and, and, um, male enforcing um, specific ideologies in life. Um, And I think now we need to get to ones in which females actually can be more liberal with what they wear and feel like they, they're empowered by what they wear without having to think about what men think, um, think. And I think men also need to play the role of ensuring that they don't reinforce certain stereotypes which allow that sort of environment to exist. Do I think women should be judged? No. Why would I want that to be the case? Do they get judged? Yes, a lot of the time. Um, I don't think it's um, right. Uh, I... Obviously, from history, I get why it gets done, but I think we're moving on now where we do understand that it's about personality, it's about the person. Obviously, you do judge on appearance, but I don't think you should continue that judgment until you then meet the person. So things like going to a club, you dress in a certain way. I believe you dress to express yourself. You you dress to show your mood. It doesn't show who you are. It doesn't show who you are because you may be wearing a pencil skirt that's below your knees one night. You may wear a dress, a mini dress that's up here that's got long sleeves doesn't mean that you're, you've are you suddenly changed and you've suddenly become someone that's less of yourself or thinks less of yourself that's just how you decide to dress and I don't think that should be judged and I think it's quite without not being too going against it I think a lot of it is to do with how males see it because they seem to think that if you're they, I can only say they've been told from very young through society and also through other men that if a woman dresses like this then that means that she's this kind of person. If she dresses like this, that means she's this kind of person. Well, I'm sure, why are we even talking about just females being judged? Why are we not talking about men being judged? Like, and it goes through all the things, your color, your race, your age, all the types of things were judged all the time. So I don't think females especially should just be judged on how they dress because you are more than how you dress. It's how you look, it's how your hair is, how your eyes are, it's how your, your face is, your personality, what you do for a living, all those types of things make you the person who you are. So that's what we should be judging, not just how you look. Um, I feel like women are judged to a degree based on what they wear, what they wear, but I don't think that it's women alone that have to suffer that 
stigma. I feel like with guys also, like the difference between a guy wearing a suit and a guy wearing a tracksuit, they may just do the same job, but you take a guy in a suit more seriously. Um, in terms of the nightlife and women wearing vegan clothes to clubs and stuff, I feel like when a woman does that, she should be aware of, of the potential of guys um, wanting to speak to her and so forth due to what she's wearing because people are attracted to what they see, I guess. But in the extreme, I feel like women shouldn't have to be dressed a certain way to prevent there being consequences like, for, for instance, people talking about, oh yeah, she looked like she wanted to be raped. I feel like in that sense, that's wrong every time. But it's, it's hit and miss. I don't know how to compromise on that one. Like what, is, what judgment is enough, but not too far. I don't know. But in terms of sort of a polarizing of masculinity, it's like men are to dress a particular way that women to emphasize how they are they sort of, it's like, how do you do that in a professional manner? And then, I don't know, in some ways they see that as sort of becoming too feminine, requiring to actually show more of yourself to classify yourself as a professional. But when you've got like very professional people that in like business and things like that, they dress like men, just with suits and things like that. It's controlled by more men than women, I think. Definitely. Yeah. Like, big media companies are mostly owned by like middle aged white men. Yeah, I'd like to think there's like gender equality. I think media presents people in the same way, different expect expectations for each gender, but self-imposed. And it's like women putting pressure on women to keep to how they are rather than them being allowed to be themselves. I don't think men pressure themselves as much. 